Hey, Justin here from Conversion Fanatics, and today I wanted to pull out the whiteboard and talk about scalability and more specifically how to scale your e commerce business to say $10 million or more. Now, here at Conversion Fanatics, we get to help a lot of great companies, ranging all the way up to Fortune 500 companies, and really help them with their scalability. We even helped one company, I'd like to say it was all us, but it wasn't. Um, they're just a fantastic company, scale about 300% in a single year. And we helped one company a couple years ago scale 1,850% in just under 10 months. Um, and I wanted to highlight some of the key things that these companies all have in common that help them with their scalability and kind of why that is the case. And the first thing on that is traffic sources. Now we see always and every single day we see the latest Facebook ads hack or whatever ad platform out there and everybody's got their, you know, poison, if you will, um, on which traffic sources they prefer. But the biggest players out there are diversified on their traffic. They're not having all of their eggs in one basket, such as they're just running Facebook ads to their site and their offers. Because if, you know, Facebook's been bringing down the hammer on a lot of companies recently and completely even taking out their business managers, um, not just their ad accounts. So what would happen if you had all your eggs in one basket and your account got shut down? Well, majority of these companies are actually diversified in their traffic sources. They're running multiple different sources, everything from Twitter ads to Snapchat ads, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Google Shopping, they've even secondary sources such as Amazon. Um, and they're running a lot of PPC and Google Display Network. And of course, they are retargeting very heavily uh, into those channels. But we're actually seeing a lot of these bigger companies are seeing more of their traffic, not so much on Facebook, but actually seeing it on search and the Google Shopping Network. So you need to make sure that you have a diversified traffic source and you're treating those traffic sources separate and not just driving them to the same specific offers, the same pages, the same everything, because every traffic source performs a little bit different. Uh, moving on to number two, and that is email marketing. And I know a lot of companies out there that aren't effectively email marketing, and you can talk to a lot of the email marketing experts, but just look at your inbox, if the ones that you're subscribed to, and see how often they actually email. Well, they've got abandoned cart sequences set up. They're running special promotions quarterly, at least. Um, and they are constantly trying to get in front of their target audience and their target prospects. So capturing those emails, not just your customers, but capturing those emails is vitally important. And one little trick that we have used is offer them free shipping if they sign up for your newsletter or be very specific or um, unique and not just race to the 10% savings or the 15% savings when you're capturing that email address. Um, number three is they've got diversified products. They're not just, uh, just like uh, traffic sources, they don't have all their eggs in one basket because you need to maximize your average order value in order to have the scalability that you are looking to get because one product, it's very hard. Yeah, you can offer more of the same, but you need to have supporting or secondary products or you know very relevant products that can help increase your average order value because the average order value allows you to then uh, tweak your numbers and then get your cost per acquisition and actually spend more on acquiring a customer to help the scalability and it opens up additional traffic sources when you maximize that average order value. And it's very hard to do it with a very limited uh, number of products. So look for ways to diversify. Many of our biggest clients have you know, dozens, if not hundreds of products in their store. And I know you can see the law of diminishing returns and you can see the 80, 20 rule, um, you know, meaning that 80% of your profit or your revenue is going to come from those 20% of the products. In some cases, even the 1% of the products, but try to diversify. So you have additional products for sale that are complementary that you can then maximize that average order value. And number four, and this is a big one, obviously we're a conversion rate optimization company, but we see it time and time again, reviewing hundreds of sites every single month, that optimization is vitally important. And what happens there is people immediately jump to, oh, I need to increase my conversion rate from 1% to 2%, then up to 3%, then up to 4%. But it doesn't always work like that, especially when you're trying to scale. 
You need to be optimizing and evolving and figuring out what makes your visitors tick, what they like, what they don't like, so you could constantly evolve your marketing message, increase those average order values, and in turn, your conversion rate's gonna go up a little bit, um, but all of those other metrics are gonna be impacted. In fact, just working on your user experience and your user interface optimization, your cost per acquisition is probably going to go down. We've seen cost per acquisition go down as much as 80%. In some cases, we've seen um, uh, you know, 10, 20, 30% reduction in cost per acquisition, even if we don't touch the ads. Because if your visitors are more engaged with your site, they're easily able to find what they're looking for, they're easily able to see the benefits and the, the value for the product, they're going to buy more, and then in turn, if your conversion rate and everything's up, then your ads are gonna become more effective there. So. Recap is diversify your traffic sources. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. It should go without saying, but there's a lot of companies out there that are simply just driving everything they can from Facebook and not paying attention to those other channels. Uh, email marketing, make sure you're running consistent email marketing messages. You're running abandoned cart sequences. You're running a quarterly promotion. Uh, I, we've got some of our clients that you know make a good truckload of their revenue uh, with just three promotions per year. Um, including the Black Friday, Cyber Monday type push that most e-commerce businesses get. Um, and then diversify your products so you can increase that average order value. And then number four, don't count out optimization and split testing. It's more than just your conversion rate. It's increasing those other numbers and then the byproduct is being that cost per acquisition. So if you like this video, be sure to like it, share, uh, subscribe, uh, depending on what channel you're on so you never miss a message. Uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.